Yo, what's up? Good morning. My name is Petrowski, and today we're going to be talking about Speed Boost Blaziken, if you can believe it. Uh, probably one of the most powerful competitive Pokemon in the history of Pokemon. People have been advocating. Recently, I've seen a lot of players advocating for its addition to Pokemon. Now, my position is that it would be wildly broken. We'll go ahead and cover a comment where I kind of show that. And I want to preface first things first. I am not the best PvP player by any means. I don't actively practice or play PvP nowadays, especially the OU tier. At my peak, I was like a decent NU player throughout the years back in like 2013 to 2015. And I've been a decent randoms player in the current day, but I don't practice. I don't play a whole lot. Not the best by any means. Any person above 600 ELO and practicing is probably going to crush me. But um, let's go ahead and jump into it. I want to show you guys what the conversation was about. Now, this was a comment on a video of mine recently. I'm obviously going to cover their name. I don't want any harassment or any like disagreement or anything directed towards them. I'm going to call them X. So X says that Speed Boost Blaziken is UUBL in Sword and Shield, and that's with Dynamax Band. Now, I do want to preface, UUBL is Underused Borderline, which is uh, essentially a tier. It's essentially OU. Um, what it means is that the Pokemon is too powerful for UU. It's banned out of UU, but it doesn't have the pick rate percentage to technically be an OU. So it can't be used in UU. It can only be used in OU. It's OU, essentially, but it's like a technicality sort of thing. Core reason to add Speed Boost Blaziken is to screw Scizor, hee <laughs> hee. I'll also get to all of my counterpoints, and we'll go by those one by one after I finish reading this. Speed Boost Blaziken was banned prior to Smogan's complete ban on Baton Pass. A shocking, as shockingly the strongest part of a Speed Boost Pokemon is passing said speed and attack boost to a different Pokemon. If you know anything about Speed Boost Blaziken, uh, you know, we'll, 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 if we'll get to my counter. I want to jump on it, but we'll get to my counter arguments in a sec. Without Baton, without Baton Pass, SD Blaziken, Swords Dance Blaziken, it likely hard walled by Chandelure. Effectively walled by Jellicent, unless it doesn't run Protect. Starf Garchomp also kills it and potentially outspeeds. So we have some potential Pokemon to run some calculations on. I actually didn't run any calculations on Jellicent, but I did run calculations on Chandelure and on Garchomp, and we'll run through those. Speed Boost Blaziken would certainly be usable, but probably not broken. Also, would be 10 times more the price of the Fire Ability Patch. I mean, sure, but that's not worth talking about, I feel like, when it comes to PvP balance. It can also remove the Swords Dance the same they did for Garchomp. I do think if you want to do a whole remove Swords Dance discussion for Speed Boost Blaziken, um, there's probably something there. That probably does change things drastically, but that's a whole different discussion. I'd have to pivot everything. I, I, I just don't know about that. Um... The most likely point they would add in Hidden Ability Blaziken would be during the 12th anniversary event, assuming Hidden Ability Gen 2s on the 11th. I don't know where this assumption of they're adding Hidden Abilities... I guess the, the things, uh, he's they're going to release Jota, or sorry, Hoenn Alpha Starters on the 12th anniversary. Like, the, like I think they might release Jota Alpha Starters on the 11th. It's an interesting idea. Um... We already have the Gen 3, like, hidden abilities. It's not like they're releasing those hidden abilities for the first time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I disagree with a lot of this, and we'll obviously go ahead and jump into it. Um, just my personal opinion, I ran some calculations. I do try to back up all the facts and try to go through everything. I think a lot of what he said is incorrect. Um, some of it's going to come down to opinion. Some of it's going to come down to if you ran more calculations. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If you run more calculations, this is how Pokemon PvP works. You, you run calculations, you kind of go through things, and you slowly discover more and more and more and more and more. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Just because I may look correct here after my calculations, I could totally be wrong after you run more so keep that in mind as we jump into this now i respond with i disagree with a lot of this personally speed boost blaziken is in ubers and every other tier posted uh post speed boost so blaziken is an ubers tier from gen 5 to gen 8 the only time he was in uubl um like he talked about was in gen 9 he cherry picked the only generation where it's not Ubers. Also, when there are many other powerful Pokemon like Toxapex and Corviknight to consider the tanking abilities of future generations, as well as speedy threats like Regieleki just aren't comparable to Pokemon's metagame. It's really tough to compare Speed Boost Blaziken in Gen 9 to Speed Boost Blaziken in a in Pokemon Mo, because Pokemon Mo just isn't like any other Pokemon game. It's Gen 5 Pokemon with some Gen 9 balancing, but also some Gen 6 balancing, but also Gen 
Gen 8 and 5 and 7 in uh, custom changes. And it's just, it's such a different game. No fairy type. It's it's impossible. No legendaries. Uh, certain custom moveset changes like High Dragon, Draco Meteor, and Garchomp Sword Sense. It's its own Pokemon game. And it can't really be compared to any other generation which is why i always tell people like smogan sets are a really good way to learn what a pokemon's supposed to do but don't follow them directly blindly for pokemon sets now continuing on um i go on to say and you can i didn't source these but these are really easy to check if you just go to black white smoke and or smoke and run through the generations you guys can see all of these really really easily none of the recommended sets from gen 5 to 9 run baton pass i don't know where you're getting that information and it's not what made blaziken strong from my understanding it's the overwhelming ability to smash through three or four of your pokemon by the time it dies from recoil damage as for chandelure it one shots it with brave bird after a swords dance on jolly nature speed tying a timid uh choice specs chandelure which is the most common set that smoke recommended it's, it's very comparable to pokemon for the most part there whereas chandelure even if it wins the speed tie it has a 68 percent chance to one shot with speedball and then i source the calculation we'll go ahead and jump over to that hopefully it looks okay here the top bit is cut off a little bit there we go flare blitz close combat brave bird so this is you can pause here if you want to and see uh, 252 attack EVs, 252 speed EVs, Blaziken, level 50 versus level 50, um, Jolly Nature, speed boost, air balloon, yada yada. Air balloon's probably the, the, the item they would run. That's what it's run on Smogan. That's what I would assume. Um, Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Brave Bird, and then SD is the move set, which is pretty doable. You might run Thunder Punch. Like Brave Bird is like kind of the, the swap out move, but... Um, as you can see, Brave Bird has a 100% chance to KO after that SD, whereas even if Chandelure wins the speed tie, even if it wins the speed tie, um, it's only a 94, it, it can roll less damage, only a 68% chance to KO. Um, I, I know if you click on top of the move, like on the Shadow Ball in this calculation, you can see that, but I forgot to do that for the screenshot, so I apologize. Um, but it was a 68% chance to KO um, with Shadow Ball for Chandelure. Let me lower this back down before I... Dot to the names, but there's that calculation. I do try to back up my evidence pretty aggressively. Uh, as for Garchomp, he outspeeds until second speed boost proc. So if you run a Protect Blaziken variant, he, he automatically loses. And then if Blaziken runs Air Balloon, which is the most common item on Smokin' sets with speed boost, he'd have to come in, declaw to pop it, only do 70% damage while Blaziken one-shots him with close combat. And we'll go ahead and show that calculation as well and talk more about what I mean by that. So generally, when it comes to answering a Pokemon, you have to think about how a Pokemon switches in against that Pokemon. So let's say the, the best example is, let's say your opponent has out their Chansey and you sacrifice a Mon to it or let a Pokemon die to it. Then you br bring in Blaziken. They obviously can't stay in on Chansey. They, they like for their turn, they switch out to Garchomp and you go for an SD. You get an SD, you get a speed boost. Um, now there's two things that could happen. Garchomp can either declaw and outspeed you on that first turn while you only have one speed boost up and do 70% declaw you whatever you one shot him with CC so he loses that matchup and you still have you can still one shot the next Pokemon coming in essentially um, or unless you have something like fake out extreme speed Pikachu I feel like it's one of the only answers like stuff like that um, or next up. Uh, he, you could protect on Blaziken if you're running that set. If you're running SD and protect, and then you would just be able to stay at 100% HP and one-shot the Garchomp. So it's all about what can switch in and like what can tank an attack and do this and yada yada. So there's the calculation. D-Claw only doing... I even high-rolled the... I even gave him like the benefit of the doubt. 60 to 70% of D-Claw is what it does this. Or Choice Scarf, Jolly Nature, 2v2 attack IVs, 2v2 spins. If I'm missing something, it's really, really, really easy to miss calculations so please if i'm if i'm missing something on these calculations I, it's very likely i made a mistake um it is super super easy to make mistakes on these sort of calculations so if i messed up feel free to let me know but that's this is what i found this is what i found so after that sd and after that two speed boost uh you end up being able to outspeed and then you end up being able to kill and yeah it seems pretty seems pretty insane to me let me crack this back down we'll head back over continue what i was talking about so i link that and then i and i go on to qualify any one shots with with close combat i'm not the best pvp -er. i'm very careful and i like to qualify when i'm talking out of my depth but almost everything you said seems incorrect from the data and the sources that i'm seeing that's my final thoughts
And I want that last sentence to be really, really exemplified, even though I sourced everything, like everything I've done, um, I source and I try to make everything super clear. Um, I could t still be wrong if you if you read more into it, if there's more discussions, more calculations. As soon as you start to consider the removal of SD, I think it's a really interesting and way more complex discussion that I probably wouldn't even take part in. I think if you remove SD from Blaze from Speedboost Blaze again, I... Uh, that's such a complicated PvP discussion. I think it's I think it's actually out of mind. I won't even try. Um, for this, I could at least attempt to have the discussion because this person named what he thought were counters, and I kind of looked at it and I was like, wait a minute, I don't think I was like, there's no way. I kind of thought to my head, there is no way that 60 base HP, 90 base defense, you know, base stat Chandelure ever tanks Blaziken. I get where he's coming from. I get how he thinks that oh it's a it's a ghost type with uh, flash fire so it can dodge his his uh you know flare blitz and high jump kick or whatever or CC but I was like there's I was like there's no way that this Pokemon walls it there's just, I just don't believe it and then I checked it up and, and yeah it certainly does not um and then Garchomp I, I I was like you know what maybe Garchomp does beat it but I, I'm a little suspicious about it and then I can't really think I didn't know I didn't know any of this before in the calculations but I had a I had an inkling. And that was my findings. So that's my thoughts, my calculations that I ran, my feelings, opinions, thoughts, etc. Numbers on Speed Boost Blaziken in Pokemon. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys think uh, it'd be way too broken? Obviously. Do you think it'd be totally fine? Obviously. Uh, or do you think it would be a more interesting discussion with lack of SD? Do you think without SD, it'd still be way too broken? Um, do you think uh, without SD... There's a really good discussion to be had. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Be polite. Be cordial in the comments, please. That is absolutely crucial. Anyone being um, just rude or, or disrespectful or whatever, uh, too harsh, you're just probably going to get banned or, or timed out or removed from the comments, something like that, right? So just be, just be polite. It's all I ask. But hopefully this video, worst case scenario, was entertaining. Hopefully worst case scenario was entertaining. Um, like the video if you did enjoy your time here. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. I upload every single day, 365 days a year. And follow on Twitch, link down below for streams, Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's links down below if you're interested in that. And if you want to go above and beyond and support my content, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo do help out a ton. Have a great day, and thanks for your time, and thanks for your feedback in the comments. Have a great day, guys. Peace.